In Creo Parametric, you can display different components in an assembly in different display styles. For example, in this assembly, I have some components shaded by default, and then other components show up in wireframe and no hidden line and transparent. If you select a component, you can go to the model display overflow menu and then component display style, and then choose whether you want that displayed as wireframe, shaded, transparent, hidden line, or no hidden line. And then you can save those settings in a style state. In a drawing, however, you cannot apply different style states to a view. For example, if I double click on this drawing view, it opens up the drawing view properties dialog box. If I go to view states, you have the ability to select a combined state if one exists. You can also use an explode state or a simplified rep, but you do not have the style state choice in here. Let me cancel out of that and I will deselect the drawing view. You do, however, have a component display command. And before I click on that component display command, I'm actually going to get out of full screen just because when I'm recording this, my recording software forces the next interface to go behind my main window and I want you to be able to see it. So you do have the component display command. When I click on that, it opens up the menu manager. And this is an old part of the interface from around Pro Engineer 2001. Yes, the component display command has not been updated. The choice that is selected by default is style. And then you can choose particular components in a picked view or components on a sheet or components from all views. And so I'm being prompted to select components of the assembly. I'm going to start out by selecting this component and you can use the control key to select more than one component, but I'm happy with just that component. I will click the OK button. And then we have four different member styles. And I'm going to start with the second one. You have a phantom opaque choice, and this is going to show that component in a phantom line style. I will select it and then click done. And you can see that that is now in a phantom line style. Let's select a different component. I will select this component and then click the OK button. And this time I will choose phantom transparent. And phantom transparent will show that component in a phantom line style, but the hidden line removal process is not going to affect it. So I will click on the done button. And now that is in that phantom transparent. And then let's select a, another component over here and then click the OK button. Here we have user color. And that will open up your dialog box with the various different colors. I will select the red edge highlight color and then click the OK button. And then let me choose the done button from here. And now that component is showing up in a red color. If I go back to the style command and then pick, say, this component and then click the OK button, there is another choice here, standard, which will put that component back to what the drawing view is set to. But I am happy with it showing up in that phantom opaque style, so I'm just going to click the quit button from that particular menu. Besides the style option, there is a hidden line removal display command. With that, you can choose one or more components. Let me select this component and use the control key to select this other component and then click the OK button. And now we have the choice of displaying it in the default setting for that particular view, or we could choose showing it in hidden line display or no hidden line. Since the rest of the view is in no hidden line, I'm going to choose hidden line and then done. And now those components are showing up in hidden line display. So with this command, it kind of does a lot of what you would have available from a style state if you could use that in a drawing. And just for something different, let's change for the next command. Let's go to all views. And I'm going to select a component to blank. In other words, I don't want to display that component. This is an alternative way of turning the display of components off without using layers. So I will check, I will select this particular part and then click the OK button. 
And now that component is no longer visible in any views. Let me click the middle mouse button to get out of the component display command. Let's say that you have blank something and you want to get it back. You can go to the component display command and then choose unblank. And then you can pick from one of the different views that are highlighted. These are showing different views in which a component is blanked. And I can say, hey, let's choose in this particular view. And it highlights the component. Right now it's set to picked view. And if I pick that component and then click the OK button, well, that component is being displayed once again in that particular view. I can choose all views and then pick one of the views in which the component is not displayed pick the component and then click OK. And it restores the display of that component to all the other different views. I'll use the middle mouse button to close the menu manager and I can go back to full screen. So there you can see how you can use the component display command to change the style of different components in a view or the hidden line removal display or to blank or unblank components.